Hello, I'm Mike from MusicRadioCreative.com. In this video, I'll give you a very short introduction to Dolby 5.1 Surround Sound. Take a look at this ID I've just started to create right now. Number one. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is take the one there and cut it and bring it onto another track, which I'll add a few effects to. First of all, my processing, and then I'm going to add an echo, which will sound like this. Mike's echo. Number one. one, 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 one there it is, echoing off into the distance. Now, you'll notice something a little bit different here for the pan control. Not your normal pan knob, but something a bit different. How do I get that? Well, when I'm in the waveform view and I start a new multi track session, I select to have it as the master 5.1. That's Dolby 5.1 surround as opposed to stereo. So in that multi-track, I can now have some fun by panning this all the way around your head. And if you're listening in Dolby 5.1 now, you'll get the full effect. If not, you'll still hear a bit of a stereo effect. First of all, double click to bring up the track panner. There it is right there. And as you can see, I can drag this all the way around your head like so. And you can see it can be very narrow or very wide, very broad, all the way to the back or all the way to the front. But in order to get this to work properly and pan around your head, I need to take the sensor from 100% down to zero. If I leave it at 100%, then the audio will just simply stay always on the central channel. So down to zero, and then I'm going to start playing back and panning this all the way around your head and just listen to how it sounds, particularly if you have 5.1 capabilities. Mm, number one. one, one, one. To learn more tips and tricks in Adobe Audition, subscribe to my channel.